Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Everyone knows about the big game on Sunday, but there's actually another matchup, and you don't want to miss that this, all right, in the morning. So uh, once again, our friends on Daybreak are covering Bark Bowl. Now, we know about this. They're told the fur is going to fly. Some of the players you'll see on the field include Patrick Mabones, Tyreek Howell, and Tom Barkey. How about that? For the Bucks, it's not easy to keep track of the plays on the field in this kind of a matchup, but TJ Springer did his best to call the fouls. Let's take a look at this. But you can't get too distracted in this game. The Bones sacked and taken down. May have been a holding penalty there. We don't see the flag or the whistle from the ref on this one, though. All right, it's getting late in this one, and Barky is getting frustrated, trying to distract Mabones. The ball is loose with the cheetah going after it. Barky gets that possession back and decided to take that in himself for the score. Yeah, Joe, you know, Tom Barky is known for that precision play, and his teammates are expecting the same thing today. The fans, too, as you can hear them, they are excited. So I asked Barky earlier, I said, what is it going to take to win against the young kid? And he said, you know, Jen, you ask me this all the time, and the answer is the same one. We just need more points than them. So we'll see what happens. Back to you. It's getting tense here with the clock winding down. Mabones always wants the game in his paws, though. Running all over, escaping tackles, and trying to kill the clock. Barky in relentless pursuit of him, though, as this clock is still winding down. I love it. You can catch the rest of the Bark Bowl on Super Daybreak this Sunday on Color 10 from 6 to 7, and then Super Ozarks AM from 7 to 8. So much fun. I can so watch that all day. Go long. Go long.